There are some projects from which every electronics hobbyist start their journey toward electronics. Same like other one, I had also started my journey towards this project by making simple project called light operator switch using single transistor. Today, after nine long years, me Krishna Kesha from Best Engineering Project came up with another very basic but very effective project for beginner called light operated switch using LDR and 741 IC. This project basically switch on the electrical bulb according to the intensity of light fall on this LDR as you can see here. Whenever I increase the intensity of light over this LDR this LED become off and whenever the intensity over this light is decreased or the darkness increase this LED start to glow. After making this project you will definitely learn three things that is how to implement sensor with this discrete IC, how to use this 741 IC as voltage comparator and how to design a switching circuit using relay. So let's start. At first let's see the circuit diagram. As this project is for beginner, so I would like to show you how to connect all these components together. Before that, let's gather all the components as shown in circuit diagram. One operational amplifier 741 IC, one PNP resistor BC557, one LGR, one variable resistor of 50K. But you can use any like 100 kilo ohms or 200 kilo ohms. Here I am using 100 kilo ohms resistor variable resistor two number of 10k resistor one number of 1k resistor one relay and one diode this for protection of its relay Here in this making video, I am not going to show you how to make this relay switch circuit because I had already made the video and write the entire article over this how to make relay switch circuit. The link of this project is given in the description section. I had extended the pin of this three variable resistor using three jumper. So it would be easy to connect over this verification board. After gathering all the components required for this project, let's wire up all these components together. Here, one extra lead with current limit resistor is used in order to indicate whether the circuit is working or not because we can't directly integrate this relay over this verification board. So, for output, I'm using here this 5mm red color lead. Now, let's identify the pin of this PC557 and operational amplifier 741 IC. At first I am going to show you the pin arrangement of this NPN transistor. This leftmost pin is for collector, this middle pin is for base and this rightmost pin is for emitter that is 1, 2, 3 pin is arranged as collector, base and emitter. Similarly if you see this IC or if you see any IC you can see this mark this cutting half circle represent from this side we have to start the counting and this hollow represent this pin as pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this leftmost part this top corner leftmost part is pin 1 then pin 2 pin 3 pin 4 pin 5 pin 6 pin 7 and pin 8 as we all know that this resistor does not have polarity that is you can connect any into any connection similarly this LDR is also basically a resistor whose resistance change over the intensity fall on this LDR so this LDR also does not have any polarity but yes lead have this large large pin of this lead indicate it is anode and this small pin indicate it is cathode. This anode pin is connected to plus BCC or positive supply and this smallest lead pin is connected to ground.
Before wiring all this component, let's know a little bit about this verification board. As this small verification board is divided into two parts, that is A, B, C, D, E and F, G, H, I, J. And it has a total number of row 17. So this row number 1, A, B, C, D, E have one connection. Row number 1, F, G, H, I, J have one connection. This one two row does not have any common connection. So let's wire up at first I am going to connect these two verification board together and at first I am going to place this operational amplifier over this verification board. After that I am going to place voltage divider network built using two fixed resistor that is 10 kilo ohm resistor R1 and R2 where one end of variable resistor is connected to positive power supply and another end of this voltage divider is connected to negative that is ground whereas middle is connected to inverting pin of operational amplifier 741 that is pin 2 so i'm going to connect this middle pin to pin 2 that is inverting input pin of operational amplifier similarly this pin is for positive power supply and this is for ground now I'm going to place this LDR as we all know that LDR does not have any polarity so you can connect in either way where one end of this LDR is sorted with power supply pin of resistor divider network whereas another pin is con connected to one pin of variable resistor as we all know that this variable resistor have three pin two is for fixed output and one is for variable output as you can see here if we measure the resistance between this blue wire and white wire that is two end then it gives rated value that is 100 kilo ohm and if we measure the value between these two pin it depend upon the position of this wiper so these two pin this blue and red pin or this red or white pin give variable output from 0 ohm to 100 kilo ohm now let's connect this as shown in circuit diagram one end of this variable resistor is connected to one end of LDR whereas this other two pin is sorted with one end of fixed resistor R2 Now pin number 4 that is ground pin of this IC must be connected to ground as I referred this row, row number 10 is referred as ground so I am going to connect it here whereas positive supply voltage of this IC that is pin number 7 is connected to positive supply. I am referring this pin as positive supply pin finish the connection of sensor and voltage compressor unit now it's time to make the switching circuit around this PNP transistor so the output of this operational amplifier that is from pin number 6 must be connected to one input of this 1 kilo ohm resistor where another end of this 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected to base I am going to sort it here as you can see here this base middle pin is connected to all is connected to this resistor one end whereas pin number one is referred as collector and pin number three is referred as emitter for PNP transistor the collector must be connected to ground whereas emitter is given to positive supply through relay circuit but here for demo purpose I am going to light this LED for that now the positive supply is given to LDR anode pin and the cathode pin is connected to emitter pin that is pin number 3 of this transistor whereas 
collector pin must be grounded but in order to protect this lead i am using one one kilo ohm current limiting resistor between the pin collector and ground so i'm going to place it here and connect this collector pin to one pin of resistor whereas another pin must be grounded as I have already referred now it's time to connect the power supply for the circuit the power supply for the circuit is depend upon the relay you are using let's say if you are using 5 volt relay then the appropriate power supply for the circuit is 5 volt if you are using 12 volt relay then you can also use 12 volt supply for the circuit without any modification let's say I'm using 5 volt power supply using this module so it's 5 volt terminal is connected to positive power supply whereas the ground terminal is connected to its ground terminal that is you can also connect it to pin number 4 now after connecting power supply let's see the output if I'm going to switch up the light then as you can see let it start to glow if I go going to switch on the light LED will turn off as you can see here now you can adjust the intensity of this LDR according by rotating this wiper like if I wish to switch on the light at this intensity then rotate this wiper until this LED will glow so at this intensity of light at night the LED will glow if the intensity of light increase the LED will automatic off as you can see this circuit behave as dark detector whenever it detect dark it will glow up the LED you can also make this circuit as light detector that is whenever it detect light it switch on the LED or switch on the relay for that you have to replace this PNP transistor with NPN transistor thank you for watching this video please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon and let us know if you have made this project or if you have any difficulties while making this project in comment section